All right, this could also be called finding your life work is an act of remembering what you love to do, not trying to discover what you love to do. By the time I could hold a pencil, I knew that I wanted to be an artist. I got my BA in art, and then through a series of events, I landed a graphic design job with the New York Times Company. Loving my creative work in the newsroom, I had the opportunity to be mentored by the most inspiring talent I'd ever met. And that's how I wound up in Santa Barbara in 1990 from the East Coast. New York Times bought the paper in 86 and decided to redesign it in 1990. I transferred here to work with the team that redesigned the paper. But after 11 great years, I felt the pull to want more creative diversity in my work. My plan was, yeah, that's me moving my office. My plan was to get five steady freelance clients and then quit my day job. Two years later in 2001, my hinge moment came and I started my own graphic design business. At first I had a business partner because I could not fathom working in isolation. However, two designers with slightly divergent styles and completely opposite work hours led to a lot of frustration. Work quickly felt like a job. With newly found business strategy, lessons learned, and wisdom, I started Ipso Facto Creative Group. At Ipso Facto Creative Group, I hold the title of Main Brain. I work out of my home office. My clients span a broad range, including retail, lifestyle brands, and the arts. So rather than having employees, I work with amazing, talented, dedicated subcontractors. Without a question, even today, I love my work. All right, so I am a, that's me, okay. I'm a hybrid or perfect storm of equal parts business design and strategy. Locally, I serve, you already heard that, panel of women's economic ventures, blah, blah, blah. I also do portfolio reviews for Brooks Institute, CalArts, Cal Poly, and Art Center College of Design. All right, so running a lively business for over 12 years, I have a well-rounded understanding of the creative process and brainstorming facilitation. And here on slide seven is where I quickly realize the common thread that is woven through all the things that I do. The thing that, that lights me up like a, like a big lit up thing is uh, the sharing and teaching part, is the mentoring. So I discovered the Multimedia Art and Design Academy. The Mad Academy is a school within a school at Santa Barbara High School, stay with me here. The Academy's collaborative environment emphasizes critical thinking and creativity in the field of media arts. Hundreds of high school students apply to get in each year. 92 students are admitted. It's a three year program with a wait list. Okay, my son Nathan graduated from the Mad Academy and during graduation, the director, Dan Williams, asked if I'd be interested in teaching a multimedia class. Technically, I'd be employed by SBCC, I'd be a professor, what a dream. The Mad Academy students who take my classes get college credit while they're in high school. Some students, depending upon how aggressive they are with their class schedules, can graduate with their AA along with their high school diploma. Brilliant. I said yes even before he finished his sentence without even thinking about how I would fit it into my work schedule in my business at Ipso Facto Creative Group. I could only really have one or two interns at a time, tops. Now I'd have 92 squishy pink brains to help mentor creatively. I, who wouldn't say yes, right? Who wouldn't say yes? Then again, you might ask, why would I give up this glamorous life of entrepreneurship? where I can work all day in the sweatpants I slept in, like some kind of super creative elderly shut-in. <laughs> you know, to be perfectly honest, be besides the motivation to shower daily, I missed, I missed the energy that only comes from being part of and contributing to a bigger picture. Okay, so I teach Adobe Illustrator, here's some student work. I teach Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, digital drawing and advanced digital imagery. The students go on to learn video production, editing, screenwriting, and photography. So they're so excited and curious and have such a natural affinity for these programs. Seriously, I think they learn by sense of smell. They are on fire with inspiration. Um, and these students remind me of why I got into my career to begin with. They're, I'm excited because they're excited. Definitely this, I was loving this work. Okay, so these students love the Maticad and the programs. They ask great questions. I can't feed them fast enough. I can't feed them fast enough for the answer to help. You know, I've been a professional in the graphic design and multimedia industry for over 23 years, and their talent 
dedication and creativity remind me every day of why I love what I do and has recharged my enthusiasm. All right, so that was crazy enough, but hang on because then came the birth of Mad Studio. So Dan Williams, the director, had a great idea. What if we went a bit further and we started an after school program where we taught these students to be creative entrepreneurs and we um, would work with um, outside businesses and the nonprofit community. So we started Mad Studio in March of 2012. And as soon as the word got out, we had no end of work for the student interns to experience. Um, I serve as the mentor, and the interns run the ship, really. They are hired according to their interests and abilities and rewarded with promotions and pizza. OK, so obviously, it's one thing to learn how to use the programs. We knew that. And to do assignments in the classroom, obviously. But being able to put what they are learning and their creativity to the true test is where the magic happens. It's the creamy center. 18, oh, we're on 19, slide 19, OK. So all positions are <laughs> held by the students. There's a creative director, a business director who handles the, book, the books, the billings, and invoicing, a video director. And underneath them are interns who are divided among the jobs of web development, graphic design, photography, and video production. And that's how we structure it. I'm really there to help facilitate. So because I learned and know that work should never be a job. Mentoring students' uh, creativity is the bigger picture for me. And even way more to the point, way more to the point as these, I was where these kids are right now. And it's nice to pass on what I know. My work now is to remind, remind these kids that passion and dreams are essential to keep alive so that their work never feels like a job. <laughs>